गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एनोटेशन विद द नेम रिस्पॉन्स स्टेटस सो व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी रिक्वेस्ट फॉर ए वेब पेज यूजिंग एच प्रोटोकॉल ऑन सम ब्राउजर लेट से दिस एच वेबसाइट ऑन ए गूगल क्रोम ब्राउजर so when i press enter i get this web page as a response from the server now an important point to note is with every http response server sends one more important information and that's called status code so let's first check the value of status code which server has sent along with this http response and later we will learn in detail what exactly it means To check value of status code, I have here installed a Google Chrome extension with the name HTTP Headers. If you don't know how to install it, please follow these simple steps, and you'll be able to do so. So when I click on it, here it's showing 200 OK as a status code value, which server has sent for this HTTP response. Guys, when a browser gets 200 OK as a status code value. with any http response it just indicates that the server has a processed the request successfully without any exception error or trouble now let me try to access some web page which i know for sure doesn't exist on this website's server so for this request server has sent this customized error web page saying page not found with status code as 404 not found guys when a browser gets 404 not found as a status code value with any http response it just indicates that the requested web page is actually not found on the server and the returned response is actually an error web page On the screen I have listed a couple of important status codes with their description for the complete list of codes please go through w3.org website So the important point to note over here is with every http response server sends an appropriate value of status code which describes it correctly Now let's look at our demo application for this application when I request for an admission form using this url this controller method is uh, going to throw an arithmetic exception and because of that spring framework is going to make a call to this generic exception handler method and is going to return this customized error web page back to me like this now let's check what status code application has sent along with this customized error web page so here it's showing 200 okay now that seems like a big problem guys 200 okay server sends only for the cases where it fulfills the request successfully without any trouble but here actually it's not the case i requested for an admission form and a server returned me this customized error web page because while processing this request it encountered some unexpected condition for all such cases where server encounters an unexpected condition and returns an error web page instead of the desired web page server should send 500 internal server error as status code with that http response and not 200 okay So question is what task I should perform in this application so that when spring framework makes a call to this exception handler method it returns 500 internal server error as status code value with customized error web page and not 200 okay Guys to do so spring mvc framework says hey developers just put an annotation with the name response status on top of this exception handler method and to it just pass the status code which you want to return with http response so here after this change 
when spring framework is going to make a call to this exception handler method it's going to send this http status means uh, internal server error 500 status code with this customized error web page let's check it on the browser cool so here i've received this customized error web page and here status code as 500 internal server error which describes this web page correctly so with the help of response status annotation we can actually instruct spring embassy framework to send an appropriate status code along with customized error web page when it makes a call to a specific exception handler method like in this case we saw all right in the next tutorial we can learn about spring embassy web services concept guys a big thank you for learning spring embassy with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Conto series and i'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial